Do you guys want to talk about Bobby Lee going on George Janko's podcast to apologize? Sure. Okay. Bobby Lee, friend of the show, friend of mine personally. He got busted. He was grabbing George's dick, apparently. Not cool. Not cool. Mm-hmm. And he went on George's podcast to clear the air. Mm-hmm. So let's see what they have to say. Let's take a look here. Giorgio boy is killing it on his podcast, but people said he couldn't be done. Mm-hmm. That this dude is the most boring. He's not funny. Apparently he's a comedian, but I thought the prerequisite is that you need to be funny to be a comedian. So everybody was like, this dude is never going to succeed as a podcast. He has no discernible skills. And yet, mm-hmm. he has. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't yeah, say that. Yeah, that's inspirational, man. <laughs> it is inspirational. It really, truly means that God is great. I think that's what it means. Thank right. you, Dan. So let's watch Bobby and George and Goku. So George, let's this you know we, we'll, we'll talk about other things, but um, I want to op- I want to open up by saying um, that I'm sorry. I feel um, I just want to break down what happened with the the Jake Paul podcast. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you know, I usually do podcasts in my ecosystem, right? So it's like I know <laughs> the rhythms, and um, I know what I can and can't say. And generally, you know, a- a- everything you know is um, people are pretty open to. They know who I am, right? But with you guys, I didn't know, so I came. I w- and also, it's a huge platform, so I was like super nervous. So you know, I I, I tend to get bullish and out of survival. I don't even, I, I do so many podcasts. I don't even remember. One thing I'll say about Bobby, <laughs> we bonded about how much we love our dogs. Mm-hmm. And Bobby told me, I remember, I don't remember when it was a few times when we did a show a while ago, a few years ago, when Treader was still alive. And he's like, dude, if one of my dogs died, I would be more devastated than like if my first cousin died. And I was like, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. Maybe even first sibling. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, when you walked off the set, I literally was confused by it. I didn't know. I don't know the drama behind um, the podcast. I, um, you know, I know that you had written this speech. <laughs> I wish I had writers for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you know what I mean? Um, I thought the instinct, the comedy instinct, was to say that it was like boring or whatever, mm-hmm. and yeah. I fell asleep. Yeah. And the third thing is, is that, and I truly don't remember, and it is br- on brand, but I don't remember ever trying to touch you. But if, if I did that, I literally don't remember. But if I did that, I'm sorry. I, I, I do it for comedy reasons. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about your religion or who you are. In fact, in fact, I didn't really know who you. I know you, who, who you are now. But I didn't really know who you were, and I. Um, but you know, with all that being said, I uh, I really truly apologize. I, you know, I. I mean, I love people. I am. I, I love, love people podcasting, too. and I think that you're. Um, you're a voice that. You're a voice. People talk about now, and you know, <laughs> I you're, love. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> so Bobby's trying so hard not to be a. A phony baloney, but also compliment him. He's like, listen, you're a voice. <laughs> you do this, you do a podcast, right? What the hell? And you're here. You have a, you have a, you have a nice beard. and You're here, man. Yeah, you're here. So whatever that means. He's a homophobe, George, I believe. He says that being gay is a sin against God. And I say being gay is actually a mitzvah. Let's go. All it's right. almost pride. He goes, who needs their dick sucked more than men? Amen. And then, you put two men together, they suck each other's dick, less dicks the, the women have to suck. It's win-win. That's right. Come on, Pride Month. <laughs> Am I, is this working? I, I, no, I, dude. I, I don't, I, sure, I didn't hear it's a really mitzvah. what you said. Honestly. And it's not gay to suck a dick. Oh, not Taco Bell just called. Taco no, Bell hell just no, called. Bro. They, fuck no. Taco Bell <laughs> just said they're definitely interested. They're all in on us. Really? <laughs> not if it's your homie. Dude. Like, of course, it's not gay to suck a dick. Have you guys ever heard? Like, if you put your trash out, are you the trash man? No. You so, know? No, you take your trash I mean? out all the time. 
<laughs> yeah, you're, you're every just, week so I take my trash out. out. <laughs> Have you guys ever thought of that? Uh, Probably not. Not until well, now. Not I, I drive Dan home after work. Does that mean I'm a taxi driver? Your chauffeur? No. No. Hell no. I'm just okay. a guy driving a car. Yeah. Right. No biggie. And if George sucks a dick, what does that mean? He's gay? Hell no. No, it means he's doing a mitzvah for God. It's a good Because men God. need blowjobs. Would he suck God's dick? And he's, I'm relieving. So George, listen, blowjob king, man. We love that about you. Hey, my brother. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. That's George right now. And I respect that about him. And God does too. Mitzvah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. George has sucked another cock. Amen. God did. Amen, brother. Amazing. Thank you. Save your applause for after the show. <laughs> and I, I just apologize. It's like thank I, you, bro. I'm sorry. All joking aside. Seriously. For real, for real. I really appreciate that. Uh -huh. Can I? Can I tell you what really, really hurt me though? <laughs> oh. I ain't Ringo, bro. Dude, first of all, this whole thing about Ringo, oh, Ringo, Ringo, first of all, this whole meme that he's not an unimportant Beatle is one of the biggest bullshit lies ever with peace and thank love. You, and I mean that, <laughs> okay? Ringo thank was integral. That man is a one of a kind drummer. He knew how to keep a beat in the most glorious, mm. um, harmonious way without ever overshadowing the bass, the guitar of the front man. Ringo is a one-of-a-kind legend, and this insinuation by George of anything but is truly a crime against God, and um, with peace and love, any insults against Ringo Starr after the 31st of May is being tossed in thank the bin. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. So you know the song, Hey Jude. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so the story is, this is, a, this is a, the, some Beatles legend here, that they were recording, and Ringo was in the bathroom, and mm. after he came back from his piss, he sat down in the drum kit, and that's when the drums came in. So that's the recording, apparently. <laughs> that's period. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Ringo's the coolest. He's the most irreverent. He's the funniest. He's cute. <laughs> Pro People Bro. say Paul's the cutest. I disagree. You think Ringo's, Ringo's the cutest? Ringo's cute as fuck. <laughs> he is. He's adorable. That's nice of you to say. And he's real, too. Thank so like. you. Thank you. But yeah, the thing is, funniest? I don't know if he was the funniest. Ringo, dude, if you go back and watch those old interviews, Ringo was no, slang. No, he was super funny. He definitely was super funny. I think John was. John funny. was funny. Well, John, yeah, he's got mad swag. Yeah. John is definitely. Ringo probably John's second bad. funniest, though. You're right. R John is probably the premier Beatle. Dark aura. But, um, you know, people say, oh, John Lennon once said that, R they said, oh, Ringo's the best drummer in the world. He's not even the best drummer in the band. Never said. That is an absolute outright lie that was never Andrew. said by Jen Lennon. In fact, there was a time when Ringo quit the band and all of the members sent him a ton of flowers and begged him to come back because they knew that they needed Ringo in the band. So this insinuation by George, the scumbag propagandist. I'm warning you. Against Ringo Starr. George is a scumbag? Him. Oh, this George. Not George yeah. Harrison. Rest in peace. Gotcha. <laughs> no, God this George. Okay. This George wish he was George Harrison. Okay. Shame on you. I want to say that. <laughs> What's he say? I ain't Ringo, bro. Oh. <laughs> You're George Martin. <laughs> No, do you, do you know what do you know what I'm talking about or not? No, but, 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 well, 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 but wait, with you, you mean with you? You called me Ringo. I know. I know. So what? Who are you, George Harrison? In that? I'm George Janko. You're absolutely. First of all, bro. First of all, <laughs> you if you want to be involved in the Beatles uh, metaphor, we're gonna have to rewind it all the way back and take. Let's just be real. Your people. Impulsive is not the Beatles. Okay. Well, yeah, you don't the, that too. I was gonna say Beatles. he's Pete Best. But. This may be Limp Bizkit. Pete Best is literally the Beatle that got kicked out of the band, so I think that's he got. He's the drummer that got replaced by Ringo. Exactly. So you're, think, you're literally a nobody. Best. Okay. You don't belong in this analogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You're literally Limp Bizkit, the drummer from Limp Bizkit. Does anybody know who that is? John Otto. <laughs> is he fu okay fuck me i guess john you're john <laughs> shit i stand corrected is john otto slay he's, he fucks 
<laughs> he fucks, huh? All right, George. I see you. Okay, you're George Enko. But also, oh, I, I, I refer to you as Ringo in, in that podcast. That was the only Did, thing that, that hurt me. I was like, I feel like I'm not Ringo. I feel <laughs> like I'm... <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you're not John Lennon. Uh, Bobby, I, I don't know <laughs> He's exactly not John Lennon. Carter. He's not Paul McCartney. He's not George Harrison. And I'll tell you what, you ain't no fucking Ringo star with peace and love, bro. Thank you, thank you. Did you see you. he cut something? Oh, right. this is our... Sorry. Any more fan bail after the... 13th of October is peace going to be tossed love. in the bin. This is a serious message with peace and love. George Janko, shame on you. <laughs> Come on. Exactly who you were. Uh -huh. And I said this on the episode with Mike, and I'll say it again in front of you. Oh, I do appreciate your apology. Uh, if it was me and you and we were just messing around and we were like having a podcast and you and you kept grabbing me because I know your comedy, I wouldn't I wouldn't be bothered by it. I know who you are, I know your comedy, I've seen your podcast. What bothered me on that episode was my friends weren't being friends. They didn't back you. They didn't back me, bro. Yeah. They saw that I was actually going through things and they stepped on me when I was down. And and it, it just felt like I wasn't in a place where the people around me wanted me to succeed. I apologize that you kind of got caught in this whole drama that we were all put in. Someone said, and they're actually, you know, you know who you I are, George Jenko? You're Yoko Ono. Mm. Warzone. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Nobody. I still think he's Pete Best. <laughs> Pete Worst. <laughs> Pete you Worst. <laughs> but was Pete Best hated? That's well, what that I want to know. George seems to not... I mean, we're goofing on him right he's now, homophobic. but he's not that hated. I don't he know. hates he's gay people. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate, yeah. That? He said being gay is a sin because he's very religious. Does that mean he hates gay people? I don't know if that means he hates them, but I mean, he thinks they're going to hell. Right. Yeah, I don't know if, yeah. And uh, frankly, he just, I, he just thinks they're demons. Not yeah. necessarily. <laughs> he just thinks there's a demon from hell to seduce us to go to Satan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know enough about his belief. Yeah, know, he did say but, it, but he, yeah, yeah. He, he said it in this podcast a few times. In this days is in. Well, People are saying enough. justice for Yoko. I uh, listen. Yoko is a goofy, goofy <laughs> person. In fact, I wish I could play Warzone for you guys, but it got <laughs> claimed somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, George Janko, if that is your real name. Me, George After Janko. Enduring. I'm a fan of you, man. I really am. I like <laughs> your is, comedy. Don't make me cry. No, I really am, bro. I really am. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you know what? I'm I'm actually really, really happy everything happened because I feel like we would have never been this like like had this interaction and I not, don't I don't think so. I really Yeah. You, I think you'd still be on that podcast if that didn't happen. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> if you really want to be serious, I saved yeah, your life. Probably you saved not. my life. Bobby Lee saved my I life. I saved your life, dude. Bobby Lee saved my life. All right, all right. 